recording. Oh. Alright, so sorry guys, I forgot. Um, I downloaded the free version of this recording software that I'm using for these videos, and it's Bandicam. It's pretty good. It's just shitty the fact that you can only record 10 minute videos. Which isn't bad, I just forgot, so it kind of fucked with me when I... Anyway, I just ended... I was just saying we're going into Fortress. So after it loads into the Fortress mode, this is the screen you're going to get. And uh, again, you're going to move around this cursor using the arrow keys. Or, it's more. It's definitely more preferred and definitely something you want more if uh, you have a, a numpad. Because then you can go diagonal too with the, uh, air, the numbers, you know. One is diagonal down, you know, blah. So if you played some other games, you probably would know. Um... So yeah, we're gonna try and find a place that uh, is far away from the uh, the castles and the oh elves. Ooh, maybe we could rage war with the elves. I hate the elves. Kind of an obligation to hate elves if you play Dwarf Fortress. Anybody else is a faggot? <laughs> nah, but elves suck. So uh. We don't want any of them high fluting peacemaking, hypocritical sons of bitches running my fortress. Hell no. So, um, basically, if you, uh, here, I'm, uh, before I cut away and find my spot, if you look in the top right, you can see the description of the stuff in each place you go to. And, uh, it'll describe what your, the environment you're about to settle in looks like, or the environment that you have selected looks like. And, um, it'll tell you, uh, you can move around with the, uh, other area. You'll, you'll figure it out if you play. Tell you the temperature you want, probably warm or temperate. The trees you want, minimum pretty much woodland, because you're going to need trees. Other vegetation is nice to have, because then you can gather plants from the wild, like berries and potatoes and shit. And then the surroundings you probably want to not be haunted or terrifying if it's your first time playing. Uh, you know what, I'm not expecting this series to last long, so uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to try and find a uh, terrifying environment. Alright, so I think I found our place. I was trying to find a sinister environment, but all of them were scorching hot, and they all had aquifers, so fuck that shit. I'm not dealing with an aquifer. I've never breached an aquifer. I'm just not that good at this game. You'll find that I'm not good at most games, but I'm good at a handful. So here we'll, uh... Yeah, it looks pretty good to me, I mean, we got some mountains, we got a little corner of a river, we got some, we got a lot of trees. Yeah, let's go for it. Alright, so, if you're like me, you'll probably want to prepare carefully for the journey. Because, all that's saying is that, uh, here, I'll just go through it. All that's saying is that you're pretty much gonna. Yeah, I'm just switching my other keyboard. Anyway, so uh, all that because I'm. Well, I'll go. I'm recording on a laptop, so I have my own other keyboard that has the numpad. But anyway. So, what? Uh, when you're preparing carefully, it lets you pick exactly what you want. Which, when you uh, play it for a while, you'll get used to. So I'm gonna get some miners. Cause I need to dig. We'll get a woodcutter, who's also a carpenter, a mason, a building designer. We'll get a weaponsmith. He'll be a, a craftsman, too. We'll get farmer dude. Farmer dude, bro. No. Prostitutes? No. This <laughs> ain't. Wait. No. No, there's no prostitution skill. So, level 48 whore. <laughs> Alright, um. What are we gonna need? We're gonna need a. Definitely a doctor and a trader, so. Not like a trader, like a. The guy who does stuff for money. And he'll be. You know, that'll be his own skill. I'll make him a farmer. This dude will be, you know what, he could be the fucking hunter, I guess, too. Uh, that works pretty well. Alright, so now, I'm going to switch to the, uh, 
There we go. Oh, wait. That was stupid of me. Anyway, so I, um... I should now be in the items section. If you guys can see that. I don't know, my computer's acted weird. Alright. I get rid of the wine, because that's going to be one of the things they drink a lot of, and they don't like to drink the same booze over and over again. Because dwarves are, uh... Picky. And, uh... FYI... In case you, uh, you guys didn't know, is you, you know, you're stupid. Dwarves rely on alcohol purely for all of their thirsty needs. Hold on, I'm gonna move my laptop over again. Be right. Alright, so I'm back. Oh, my neck hurts. Right. So, now, I'm gonna get rid of some, uh, basic shit that I usually get rid of. If you guys are used to playing this game, you should try this. It works pretty well for me. Get rid of the thread and the cloth bags and the ropes and the reason why is because all of that stuff is really good for like medicine you can get cheaper shit that's pretty much equal if not better maybe I, don't know, I gotta increase the amount all right. bag like, like look how much cheaper this leather bag is compared to like that $20 a bag pigtail bullshit I got some cloth for bandages and shit no I see that's 14, and then like cave, cave spider silk cloth is 7, and sheep wool cloth, which is usually what I get, is worth 7, so. I don't need that much. And then, uh, rope. Get some ropes. Pretty helpful in the wrong, the long run, the wrong run. The wrong run. The long run. And 3 is good. Alright. So we're halfway through the video and I haven't even done anything except prepare. Yay! Alright, um... Usually you want to get at least one... One breeding pair of, uh, dogs. And, uh, don't get a breeding pair of cats. Just get a male cat. Breeding pair is not good because you'll get a cat explosion. If you don't believe me, look it up. You'll hear great stories about it. Well, rather horrible stories. You get uh, a couple of pigs. Shit. Right. I need to take some shit away. So, yeah, cat meat. I mean, if they want to eat that, they can, but I'm not. I'm not endorsing that. Well, you know, fuck it. Cats. We're gonna be the cat eaters. Maybe we'll all be our randomly generated name. We'll get serious some plump helmets. Oh shit, I need to get seeds first. You know what? I'm not gonna lie, guys. This second video is probably just gonna be me preparing for this stuff. The first one was generating. second one was preparing. Go me. I'm so interesting. Fuck if you guys are watching me still, you guys are You guys are the real losers. I'm not I'm not a loser like you, you douchebags. Sure, who needs splints? I mean, we got buckets and so Alright, so I only got like a minute left. Get a ram. And I don't got many more points. Oh, that's something I need to do. If you get rid of the copper battle axes... Alright, now here's a stupid thing about the game. So you get this. You can cut down a tree with a wooden axe. I get it in Minecraft, because, you know, they just, you gotta do something, but still, it's kind of bullshit. So, here, let's get some, let's get some oaken training axes. Oh, I guess they increased the price. That makes sense, though. I mean, you can cut down trees with them. So here, uh... I'm just gonna get another sow. Two sows. And the rest on booze and seeds. Alright, guys, on the next time in Dwarf Fortress, I'll just start the fortress out and you'll see me. So, uh, see you then, guys.